Hi, I had this little dress to him. It's bias lining made out of Bemberg Rayon lining. I needed to make a tiny rolled hem, so I used band roll. You can pull the threads on band roll to make a narrow rolled hem. Let's get started. So first with my band roll, I took a wider piece and I cut it in half. This way I get, you know, twice for my money. Then I'm gonna take on that cut edge and pull threads of the band roll. I love the tiny hem that I get when I pull just three threads. The more threads you pull, the wider your hem will be. But if you want a tiny, like eighth inch hem, three threads will do it. You can determine the length or the width of your hem just by how many threads you've pulled. Now keep in mind, you need to have a length of band roll for whatever the total circumference of the hem that you're doing. Here, let's get started. So on my sample, I've got this bias Bemberg lining, which is very wiggly if you've ever worked with it, and it's on the bias. I'm going to start stitching right next to the edge, keeping my needle in the comb of that band roll and not stitching through the solid part of it. And you'll see later why. So I stitch along, just adjusting my fabric underneath. Now remember, when you're hemming your actual garment, start your band roll on the right side of the fabric. I know it seems counterintuitive, but there's a reason why. Start it on the right side and you'll have success. Step two. So now I'm going to take my fabric and flip it completely around, just run that band roll all the way around and flip it to the inside. So now your hem will be on the inside of the fabric or to the wrong side of the garment. I highly suggest making some test samples, grab some scraps of wiggly fabric, some shears, linings, and just make some little test samples of this and you'll find out how easy it is and you'll get over your fear of doing a narrow rolled hem, especially in a wiggly fabric. This looks great on scarves. They use it a lot in bridal. Anytime you want a narrow rolled hem, it looks perfect. And you're just using a straight stitch and your regular sewing machine. No special feet, no sergers. Perfect and easy. Okay, now we're coming up on the reveal, final step. Here's my beautiful narrow rolled hem. But wait, I've got a stuck band roll stuck in there. Grab an end and just pull gently. If you stitched just in that comb, it'll pull out easily. Now watch here at the end. I love it when I make a mistake so that you can see it. Oh no, I caught a bit of those threads. That's what happens. So you can pull those through or snip them off. It's not the end of the world. Beautiful, narrow, tiny rolled hem in bias Bemberg Ram lining. Can you believe it? Hey, you want to see it again? Let's watch it in this darker fabric so that you can really see the high contrast and you can see those little teeth and you can watch as my needle is stitching right next to that kind of solid area in the band roll. But I'm only stitching in the teeth. I'm using like a 2.5 stitch length because I find that's perfect to go in between those little threads of band roll, but still have a secure hem. Here I am ready to turn it to the inside, flip it right around. It's kind of like magic. I love doing this narrow rolled hem. So I'll get it started underneath my machine needle down and then I can just a tug and pull the fabric so it's like right up against that comb. It'll just 
kind of comply. It's nice. It'll just go right up against that comb. Nice stitch a little bit and then readjust. Stitch some more. Readjust. Right on down. It's really quite fun. Okay, here we are at the end. Now you can see with my contrasting thread, you can really see that tiny, tiny little hem. Isn't it amazing how easily that pulls away? It is kind of like magic. Tiny little rolled hem, about an eighth of an inch wide. Beautiful on the inside and the right side. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Yeah, but what about like a sheer fabric, like a sheer chiffon? I've got you covered. So I'm going to stitch my sheer chiffon. This happens to be a Georgette. And if you find that it's really giving you grief, you might want to put your single needle plate on your machine. Then you'll have no worries about that sheer, sheer fabric going down into the feed, dropping down, you know, in that big hole of the throat plate. Stitch. And again, I'm just going to grab and turn. And what I find with these sheer fabrics, since there's, they're really quite fragile and lightweight, I'll just treat it gently. I get things started, get my needle down in there, take a few stitches, and then I'll just gently adjust my fabric. You don't want to tug hard because you don't want to pull that comb away, because once it pulls away, then you've lost your ability to do that narrow rolled hem. Let's take a few stitches, adjust, just bring that fabric right up against the edge of the comb, and stitch. Now we're ready to pull the comb away. You can see my red thread on my black chiffon. It just as easily pulls away in a sheer fabric. It's kind of cool, isn't it? So there's my sheer fabric. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. Tiny, but you can see the shadow of that tiny little hem. Now, if you happen to be doing an extreme curve, trim your band roll to about a quarter of an inch and then like pre-press the curve in with the steam iron. You'll have really great success. Now go out and make some tiny rolled hems. Enjoy.